And we dip dogs. Welcome back to Garo Attacks Our Darker Purpose. Rawr. Last episode we did a pretty cool like um, chalk run. I was into it. Uh, let's try it for a different type of run then. Uh, let's see. Everything in Edgewood. Oh, that's hard mode. Cartography is our speed mode thing. We've already tried this. Is all right. Ah. Ah. Non-renewables, huh? Sean Frey, we already tried that. Uh, scissors, we already tried that. Um, you know what'd be interesting? What if we do Schadenfreude and non renewables, huh? An interesting combo. You know? Because we're like, oh, okay, Schadenfreude, uh, every damage reduces health permanently, so literally, uh, HP, like, uh, sorry, juicies, don't matter. Juicies have no meaning whatsoever. All that matters is leveling up and getting, uh, leveling up and getting, like, uh, max life ups and stuff, and getting items that gives max life up. So what else does that for us over here? Schadenfreude. I mean, we've done a Schadenfreude run before, but we haven't done it with non-renewables, so let's try it out. I kind of I kinda feel like this might be interesting. Let's, uh, let's do it. There you go. Start a new game. Start up. Don't, don't, don't take the fact that you have a ton of HP for granted. Remember, you can't heal that. That's basically like the end game HP right there. So every hit we take, every move we make, I'll be watching you. There we go. Alright, and, and this means I can't make stupid like, oh, I'm trying to go for a speed run tactics. Uh, fucking like, oh, okay. Oh, man. Let's, yeah, we gotta, we just gotta... Be a little patient here, yeah? See? Just take a extra second to just dodge shit until it's safe, you know? You don't need to, you don't need to fucking, you know, pussyfoot around here. This, this town ain't made for pussyfooters. No, no, no one, no, no one here would, would, would live if they had pussies for feet. That'd be weird. Um, okay, yeah, that was a little bit risky. And because of that, I might have lost some HP, some valuable HP, I might add. And it, it, as you can see, Schadenfreude is absolutely working with uh, with our run. So getting max HP ups is not the problem here. It's uh, getting juice boxes. And, and obviously we still have juice boxes. Uh, because who knows, maybe we'll get the thing where it's like, uh, oh, if you drink a juice box, it'll increase your damage or your, like, max HP. Honestly, if we got, like, those level ups, they're like, oh, increase your max HP every juice box you drink. Uh, that'd be nice, because that would give us something to use our juice boxes for, you know? As opposed to them being just, like, straight up, uh, pointless right now. Alice in the Pointed being the most pointless. Oh, shit, okay. Okay. I think we have to go with a 25 max life here, <laughs> obviously. And, uh, ooh, and a transient heal. Oh, the transient heal doesn't do shit, actually. So it's literally either 20% attack speed or 25 life. We're gonna go with 25 life. Uh, also, life ups do jack shit here, because what are we gonna do on our second life? Second life is gonna be, uh, second life is gonna be, uh, what's it called? Uh, sorry. Second life is just straight up like, oh, we start off with maybe one HP. Most likely it's going to be zero or negative or something like that. Uh, however, like, oh my god. Dumb, dumb damage that I should not have taken. Each piece of damage is just fucking like eating away at my soul. And I'm, I'm looking at this run. Is that, oh, 777 HP to start off with. That's it. I've taken more da damage than that on a single floor. Man, that ain't cool. Vexing vials are no longer like worthwhile because juice boxes don't do shit. So it's it's best to like save our money up for other shit. So let's uh, let's try doing that instead. Let's uh, whoops, you diddles. I'll take some of these. Yep, bows. Yep, oh fuck me. Okay, <laughs> we have a uh, six. That's not enough to get any item in the shop. Uh, so we just save it for the next time, and let's go in here. Hey, we got the obsolete operator. This is actually my favorite of the first floor bosses, just because, um... Oh, fuck, really? Okay. Oh, my 
god. Oh my god, seriously? Okay. I need to, I need to fucking take care of these dudes. Okay. There it is. Okay, just one of these dudes is actually not a threat at all, in my opinion. And when you had like three intersecting one another, that's when it starts getting crazy. But this guy is at a low enough HP that I'm... Oh my god, seriously? Yep, there it is. Oh my god, that was so close. Well, we ended up leaving this floor with four less HP than we started, which is, you know, it's not ideal. We could have done better, but it's fine. Let's see. Wealthy? We can't buy an item, but we do get a lot of coins for future. Oh, they're both wealthy. I can't, I can't escape it. So basically, like, either the Grieving Kitchens or the Cajun Kitchens of Heresy. I kind of think the Cajun Kitchens of Heresy is a hilarious name. So, attack speed and likelihood of additional champion spawn for floor. That's, that's obvious. The other one lowers a part of us and gives us two extra juice boxes, which do nothing. Which, if those weren't, if those uh, level ups weren't useless before, they're sure as hell even more useless on this Schadenfreude run. Uh, sorry, the non-renewables run. Schadenfreude is just the uh, fucking uh, other thing we got to uh, sort of balance it out. Yeah, these get, oh my god. I got really close to taking damage on one of those uh, things. Yeah, see, because um, the every bit of damage we take lowers our max health along with our regular health. So there's no way we're never ever going to be at max health. Um... So there's no use for anything like juice boxes or transient healing. So we're gonna we're gonna start thinking in a different way about this game just for this run in specifics. Okay, in specifics. Oh man. Oh, that didn't feel good. Getting that uh, damage right there. Oh, I can see I can see the champion up there. Ah, fuck! Oh, that's the worst right there. <sighs> okay, okay. Alright, okay. This guy dropped a little bit of a uh, Kshish for us. Oh my god. Okay, do I... Oh man. Oh, that was good. Alright. Okay. This is... This might be a little... Oh, fuck me. This might be a little bit lo Oh shit. This might be a little bit of a longer um, uh, episode, just because everything I do is going to require just ten times longer because I'm trying not to take any damage whatsoever, which is kind of shitty, but at the same time, it's like, that's how the game was meant to be played in the first place. It's like a sort of um, slow-paced, uh, watch what you fucking do because otherwise you might just kill yourself sort of game. Yep. Also, like a precision based, you know, shooter RPG style, you know, killing shit. Okay, you wanna, you wanna die? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, just. Oh, okay. That was fun. Let's do that again sometime. Just making sure there's no more money up there. I took a lot of damage. This little area right here. Okay. Okay! Did I, did I take damage there? I definitely did take damage there. Just didn't show. Okay. Alright. I wonder what a sensitive floor would feel like on this run. If we were absolutely super careful, it might be the most amazing thing. Because it might uh, kill enemies fast enough to where they won't be able to do damage to us. Uh, but also, if we do take damage even one bit, it's like the worst shit in the world. Come on. Thank you. Oh, fuck me. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. Ah, fuck! I thought I had it. Oh, there's a dodge. Dodge is super important on this run. The more I dodge, the less I take damage. Dodge and resist is, like, fucking the hugest thing here. So, I'm looking, I'm looking for dodge. I'm looking for resist. I'm looking for anything that gives me max HP ups. And anything that turns my juicies into not something that's just straight up useless. Uh, 
Uh, can I even use a Juicy right now? I cannot. So in fact, getting a thing that uh, gives Juicies like a secondary uh, effect is actually still useless because um, you can't even use a Juicy because you're always at full health. Okay, that's good to know. So we're looking for zero Juicy things. Okay, let's go. Let's go fight this boss. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna, yes, there she blows. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, the, that there's there's an inevitable that thing was coming back here. Uh, whenever whenever there's a oh, whoops. Whenever there's a chance for uh, those frozen things to um, maybe get uh, get out of your way permanently, they're always gonna come back. Just because I I think that's just how they're programmed. They don't bounce to any sort of like uh like physics engine of sorts they're just like oh where's the where's the player it's sort of like rubber band physics uh in um in uh what's it called racing games where it's like oh if you're super ahead the uh ai is going to do way better so that um so so that you know they catch up to you and it's not super easy for you um Uh, but if you're way behind, they'll go slower so that you, you know, have a chance to catch up because, you know, maybe this game is super hard. It's like, it's sort of a backwards way of, um, of programming a game. Just be like, hey, we don't know what's hard and what's easy, so we're just going to sort of fake it by doing rubber band physics. Yep. Yeah, the third one should come out. Yep, there it is. Ah, fuck me. Okay. Also, things that uh, affect, like, oh, what percentage of HP you're at, you know, those aren't going to work because we're all always at 100% HP. Like, oh, you do more damage when you're at 20% or lower HP. That's not going to work because we're always 100% HP, y'all. We're never not 100% HP. We'll always be at 100% HP. Anything, I don't, I'm pretty sure there's nothing, but if there is anything that's like, oh, you gain stuff if you're at 100% HP, I'm pretty sure... Uh, that helps us out, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist. Obviously. Oh, this is Laura's move speed. Yeah. I'd rather raise move speed and give me a chance of getting uh, more coins. Uh, oh, right. This was wealthy. Eh, some wealthy floor. We barely gained anything. We're at 13. Okay. Uh, cafeteria. The cafeteria well stocked. Going to the well stocked one. It's going to be multiple devices. I'm gonna be able to pick and choose which uh, which upgrade we want, depending on the uh, the stuff we get in the shops. Yeah, buddy, can't shoot do that one, can ya? Okay, so obviously you went this way because that's a dead end and that's not where our memory room is. We're gonna want to see where our actual memory room. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so it's gonna be to the right. Okay, is this is this cafeteria still? It is cafeteria still. See those potato sacks? See those potato sacks? Okay. Yeah, toss them. Toss them, ladies. Toss them. Toss it. There it is. Yeah, now, now, like, I'm gonna stop, like, going around the bad ways from enemies, like, oh, maybe I could do this and do a little bit faster. No, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna exploit their patterns, because we know their patterns. And we are able to exploit them if we just wait a couple seconds, goddammit, you know? Okay, there we go. There it is. I knew we only needed six shots to kill these dudes. Yep. And now we verse this guy. Okay. He's about to shoot out another one, I believe. Oops. We're gonna go around this way now. Get him, get him, get him, get him. It's the fire that's blocking my my ways most of the time. whoop -ah, There we go. I forget, I actually didn't see where that dude went. Mephi's wickedness can might as well be a giant dick on my face. Because it's not helping. Here we go. Uh, which way did he go? Oh, he goes back. So we actually went the wrong way. God damn it. This guy needs to fucking die is what he needs to do. Mm -hmm. There 
Yes. AP Magnificent. Yeah. Yeah, get those, like, diagonal rolls out of the way here. So that uh, these ladies in the middle can do their thing. The, the fucking... Oh my god. I can't believe I fucking didn't roll out of the way fast enough for that. That's not cool. I'm supposed to be really good at dodging these dudes. It's, uh, he's a pretty easy dude to dodge. Oh, shit. That's pretty alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick this up yet. This is way better at the end of the floor. To, uh... It's not because, like, oh, we plan on taking way less damage at the end of the floor. It's just, uh, the future floors are way more damaging, so... Uh, to... Forego those, especially after this boss, would be great. This is... This is, you know, not worth anything. This is not worth anything except against enemies that don't do contact damage, which is a few later on. But honestly, we only have 16 coins, so I think we save that for a time when, um... When, a time when we could get, like, maybe a super OP fucking, uh, thing. Wow! Was, um... Did I just completely miss it? And was the, uh... Was the fucking, uh, memory room just, like, right there? It might have been. I'll take these. Oh, I'm at 666 HP, yes. Yo. Number of the beast. Here we go. How is it that I'm doing a little bit more damage against these guys and than I was against AP Magnificent? AP Magnificent taking like 60s to the face, and this guy's like a second last fix. Yeah, look at this. It's totally right here. Okay. Let's go find that second uh, shop, see if there's anything good in that one. Oh, there. Okay. There you go. Ah, some level ups. Level ups definitely are good here. Uh, chocks are good too, and uh, you know, more damage is good as well, but honestly, the level ups, the earlier the better. That's why I picked it up right now. If you get, um, hold on, what was this, what was this on this stuff? If you get, you know, one, two, three more, like, the earlier we get those, the better as well, because, you know, we're on sort of like a, oh, fuck me. We're sort of like on a, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Toss another one down. Oh, fuck. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we picked it up because it gives us one extra life. Like, HP. Max HP is what I meant by that. But it uh, doesn't give us anything else because that extra life is basically meaningless. We just have this life. Because when we respawn, we don't respawn with 777. I don't think. We respawn with how much... Oh, fuck. I am an idiot. We respawn with how much HP we had before we died. Uh, which is, which, if we're playing this one, we're gonna, you know, it's probably gonna be like one or zero or negative something. Yeah, and I love how, like, the best case scenario for that item is, oh, we respawn with one health. It might be zero health, it might be even negative health. But we might do with one health. Man, yeah, see, the, I think it's just those guys in general just take 60 health. They just have some defense on them. See? This guy's taking 80. No defense on him. No D. Let's see. What do we got going on here? Is this the boss? No, no. I mean, it's the way to the boss. Well, there's a Juicy that we'll never be able to pick up. Because I just realized that Juicy synergies are completely out of the question. And here's the boss. Yeah, I guess we go in. Uh, real quick, we have eleven, so we have we have enough for the chalk. Unfortunately, we're just one shy of um, we're just one shy of getting the uh, what's it called? Uh, sorry, the Bunsen burner. So, is the chalk one really, really that great? Well, let's think about it for a second. Every time we do chalk, it shoots arrows everywhere that do damage. That could be useful. Just like extra bit of damage here and there, you know? Um, oh, fuck. Okay. And not to mention, it gives us an extra chalk for picking it up. Fuck. I thought I was going to do this. 
without taking damage. It's a pretty easy boss fight. I was disappointed that I took damage there. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> no. Never. Never, never, never. Really? <laughs> Stupid. Twice as likely to drop tokens. And 15 life. 15 life is good. Uh, yes, and I totally forgot, but we... Oh, I almost forgot, and I didn't completely forget, obviously, now that, you know, I'm going to do it, but we need to go pick this up. And, it, how much is this? 80 HP. So let's count it out. So, okay, so once we get to, like, 500, that's when we're like, oh shit, we're about to lose our thing. So, let's keep that in mind. We're close to even, like, the base 600s. Remember, we do have Schadenfreude, so we do raise HP every so often. So it's not uh, out of the question that we'll lose uh, the thing while we're still in the 600s. Which is nice. It's nice that I got Schadenfreude to uh, balance out this shit that we just did to ourselves. Okay. Alright. Coolio. The, the, what's it called? The plate is already paying for itself with just like these fast kills right here. Whoop, booze. Yep, those. Yep, these. Yeah, what are those? Here we go. I think I've mentioned this on my channel at some point, but I just don't think the what are those meme is that funny. Like, honestly, it's not even, like, even a little bit funny in my opinion. But what are those? It's, I, like, I don't know what that means, buddy. What are what's? What are those oh, no shoes? You don't, you've never seen shoes before, buddy? Alright, here we go. Hey! There we go. And there we go. Good stuff. What are those? You know what these are. Don't don't fuck around with me, buddy. Okay. Yep, let's run. Okay, yep. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Oh fuck. Andrew the attentive. Oh, I bet he is. Fuck. Oh shit, no, this is actually absolutely worthless. I will pick it up though because it's free and because picking it up will guarantee that I never see it ever again. Which, you know, there, that's, there's some merit to doing that. Uh, to picking something up uh, just so that you won't see it ever again. And it looks like uh, we didn't take the, what's it called, the chalk arrows. Honestly, that's, that's, an, that's also a good way of doing things because... Um, uh, because, you know, you never know. You never know, man. You never know if you can find something amazing on this floor, so... You wanna put all your chickens in one basket. And then have that basket, like, break halfway through. Okay. Wow. Okay, we have an on use item. Okay. Good dodges right there. I was, I was happy with that. Hey, we found our thing. Okay, we have sad chalking of shot. This is actually very useful, but we do also have the resist. I think the resist is like a thousand times more important, actually. If I get four more uh, things, uh, four more coins, I'm coming back for the uh, sad chalking of a chalk because that, you know, that'll give us like infinite more chalks. But I don't think we're gonna get four more, honestly. We even get one more right there. Oh, there's one right there, at least. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Boom. This, uh, this brick play right here is actually pretty alright. Now, that guy dropped the juice. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for these, these coins right here. And we have ten. It's not enough. Oh, we, oh sorry. We still have an extra room. Yep, uh, Yep. -o. Yep. -a. Yep. -o. Oh shit! I totally forgot. I have an on-use item that makes enemies slower now. That can be useful. Get it? On-use item. Useful. <laughs> All right, let's go fight the boss. Oh, this is Woundward's boss. Let's fucking. Okay, and let's do this. I was hoping that that would work. Yep. Yep. Ah, fuck. Okay, yep. Yep. 
Okay, great. And you have to remember the uh, the bricks have infinite uh, range. So, oh my god. Yeah. So I can I can shoot. Yeah, I can shoot from all the way back here. Is the is the caveat of these bricks? Not to mention, they do a ton of damage, right? Especially with crits. So good on that damage. Yep. There it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, at least I, at least I, uh, fucking, uh... Oh, really? I thought I, I thought it was, oh my god. Yep. Yep. Yeah, just, just just go for regular. You've, you've beaten Gonoro before. Ain't no big dang, girl. Oh, that was nice. That shit exploded right inside her body. You saw that fucking timing right there? Oh my god. Okay. How much how much is this plate for? 38. I went halfway already. Okay. So now it is definitely like over 600. Uh, Alright, let's see. Oh, and I definitely got a new uh, level. So let's... Alice Glug does jack shit. I wish it did something, but it does jack shit. So we're gonna have to, it's either 10 base damage, and that's it, or 10 base movement, and our tokens are 20% interest at the end of the level. Honestly, the fact that we're saving our tokens so much, is like, this is the best thing we can get right here. Uh, so we're gonna get two extra ones on the next floor, so we're gonna start off with 12. That's nice, honestly, that's real nice. So we're gonna go ahead and end this uh, chapter off. I'll see you guys in a couple days for the next chapter of Our Darker Purpose. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series thus far. I know I am, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!